A little joint coverage on the OnePlus 3T? While Jaime is tackling the main review, I got to spend a little time taking a listen to what this phone has to offer audio files. The older OnePlus 3 was a surprisingly solid performer, and we're happy to hear that this refresh is largely improving on its predecessor. To our ear, little has changed in terms of speaker performance. We're kind of at the limit for what a single bottom-firing speaker can produce, and OnePlus is on the positive side of that limit, performing better than average for ringtones and alerts. You'll probably block this speaker while gaming, but it's plenty fine for a little casual video consumption. What we really want to dig into is this headphone performance. We see some big steps forward, with one concerning step sideways? First up, this is a better than average amp, easily outperforming the Galaxy S7 and falling just behind the HTC 10. You have to climb up to Axon 7 or LG V20 territory to really get louder. The 3T should do a better than average job of driving higher impedance headphones. We're talking iPhone 7 territory here at a significantly lower cost. Looking at the audio quality, we know OnePlus has improved something here. The 3T posts better noise floor and dynamic range numbers than the original OP3. We're always going to be happy with cleaner output while maintaining true 24-bit playback. In this regard, the 3T now easily bests our Fio K1 USB DAC. This is a small USB-powered audio device which we use as a baseline for these comparisons. It can improve the playback on some of our phones, but if you buy the 3T, you're not going to need it. So for all this good news, why are we still a little concerned? Well, the 3T seems to always manipulate your audio. Taking a look at the frequency response graph, see how the OnePlus 3 stays flat and the 3T wiggles all around? It's artificially boosting some frequencies over others to enhance what you hear, and we couldn't find a way to disable this. You can also see in our amp test, the phone is all over the place in terms of signal reproduction. Uh, what does this mean for your music? Honestly, the phone sounds pretty good, but man, it's juicy. Sometimes delicate mid-range information can get stomped on to give you that fuller bass, and highs can sometimes land a bit brittle. Most folks are probably going to like this more aggressive output, but those who prefer a flatter response will be disappointed. All in all, we're looking at good news. The 3T is a better performer. It's got better hardware. This is a better DAC. At $439, it's nipping at the heels of phones that we consider gold standard performers. We're just hoping OnePlus will deliver an update where we can disable some of these software shenanigans. As always, thanks so much for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this channel for our full OnePlus 3T coverage, including reviews and comparisons, and sharing on your favorite social networks is always greatly appreciated. For Pocket Now, I'm Juan Carlos Bagnell, some gadget guy on Twitter and Instagram, and I will catch you all on the next review. Johnny. You're still afraid. Stop it now, I mean it. They're coming to get you, Barbara. Stop it. You're ignorant. They're coming for you, Barbara. Stop it. You're acting like a child.